the emergence of presidential candidates ahead of the 2023 general election has shifted scrutiny on the emerging figures ready to take political office. It has led to a look into their past affairs by political opponents and the media to see if their hands are clean. The emergence of Dumebi Kachuku as presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress has raised a lot of insinuations which he denies. Taya Modu reports. The presidential primaries of the ADC had sprung up a surprise with Dumebi Kachiku pulling a total of 977 votes to defeat his closest rivals, Kingsley Mohalu and Chuku Karmoni, who polled 589 votes and 339 votes, respectively. But now Mr. Kachiku finds himself under fire following publications by an online newspaper alleging that a U.S. court had ordered the confiscation of his property over tax evasion. The online platform also alleged that Mr. Kachiku was indicted for fraud in the past and therefore is not a first-time offender. He has called this briefing to explain his side of the story. I don't understand what the issue there was, but in trying to allege that it was an issue of tax evasion, that was never true. That's not true at all. I'm, I'm a resident also of the U.S., and so I go to the U.S. frequently. Well, no, I, say no, I, have, I have no criminal case in any part of the world. Um, I have heard um, these people continue to persist in the fallacious argument that I have criminal case. I have no criminal, criminal case anywhere in the world, not being investigated anywhere in the world, no criminal case. I've never been charged to court anywhere in the world. Money played a huge part in primaries across parties. And Dumebi Kachuku is also accused of buying delegates over to vote for him. He denies this and finds it funny that the same people who pay delegates are the same people denigrating the process that produced him. It's funny that the same people who pay delegates, who we have evidence, transaction receipts of their paying delegates, are the same people who are libeling, defaming me and the, um, denigrating the process that produced me. The ADC flag bearer warns his traducers against further dragging his reputation in the mud as he has instructed his lawyer to sue every publication that carried out the story for the sum of one billion naira and press charges on all people who attacked him on social media. But it is expected that such attacks under the guise of exposing the shady past of candidates will only get worse as the countdown to the 2023 general election winds down. Tai Amodu. TVC News, Abuja.